Good evening and welcome to Texas News Prime Time. For Monday, April 25th, I'm Josh Fowler. And I'm Alexa Sherry. Thank you for joining us tonight. UTPD Chief David Carter died at the age of 64 on April 22nd after a long battle with cancer. Carter had served as Chief of Police since 2013 and had been in law enforcement for 38 years. He graduated from Texas A&M, where he then began working in law enforcement in Bryan, Texas before joining the Austin Police Department in 1985. From there, he worked his way up to Chief of Staff for the UTPD Police Department. His friends and family referred to, him, referred to him as a great friend and mentor with steadfast dedication and integrity. Carter will be missed by the Austin and Longhorn community. An act of heroism by a National Guard member resulted in tragedy this past weekend. 22-year-old specialist Bishop Evans jumped into a river near Eagle Pass, a section that is known to have strong currents, after he noticed what appeared to be two migrants drowning. Maverick County Sheriff Tom Schmerber stated how, quote, he jumped in the river they never saw him come out, quote, today. Evans' body was found near the Mexican side of the Rio Grande. On April 6th, Governor Greg Abbott ordered state troopers to inspect commercial trucks as they crossed the border. The move led to a massive line of trucks waiting to be inspected. The inspections ultimately found no drugs or migrants and were estimated to cost the state $400 million per day. The troopers could only inspect the trucks, tires, brakes, and lights. The troopers had no authority to open or inspect the inside of trucks. Those inspections are instead carried out by Customs and Border Protection and state and federal agricultural agencies. Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton filed a lawsuit on Friday to prevent the Biden administration from lifting Title 42. Since its enactment in March of 2020, Title 42 has been used 1.7 million times to expel migrants. Title 42 is under the responsibility of the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention and is a public health order at its heart. Paxton's lawsuit argues that the Biden administration did not follow the correct procedure to end Title 42. Health and Human Services Secretary Javier Becerra said, quote, health orders are not immigration policies. You can't use the cover of health to try to deal with migration. Some Texas Republicans are calling for Governor Greg Abbott to declare an invasion of migrants to give legal standing for state personnel to deport migrants. This comes after Abbott halted increased inspections of commercial vehicles along the Texas-Mexico border. At a law enforcement roundtable last Thursday, the governor said the following. So this, listen, this is something that I began studying back when I was the Attorney General of Texas, uh, something that I've continued to study. Uh, and, and there are some issues that we're looking at uh, that uh, have, uh, we've been provided no answer on. Uh, the operation, as it, as it would work, uh, is to put these people and deport them immediately. These are people who already have papers to roam freely in, in the United States. Uh, as soon as we drop them off, off across the border, they would just come right back across the border. And, and so all we would be doing is creating a revolving door. If we do use this strategy, it could expose uh, law enforcement in the state of Texas uh, to being prosecuted. Jeffrey Hoffman, the director of the University of Houston Immigration Clinic, Clinic, says the invasion claim would be difficult to defend in court and, quote, not lawful. It's political theater, end quote. Last Friday, bombshell recordings of GOP House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy speaking following the January 6th insurrection were released to the public. In the recording, McCarthy talks with Representative Liz Cheney about how to address the issue of the former president, who at the time was widely regarded as being complicit in the attack by members on both sides of the aisle, though many Republicans have since backed off that position. Take a listen. And the only discussion I would have with him is that I think this will pass, and it would be my recommendation we should be done. Um, I mean, that would be my take, but I don't think he would take it. But I don't know. To a study from the Cockrell School of Engineering, Texas is capable of eliminating its carbon pollution in less than 30 years and would actually stand to benefit economically from doing so. 
In the report titled, Don't Mess With Texas, Getting the Lone Star State to Net Zero by 2050, researchers point out that, make, that markets are shifting away from fossil fuels. This could spell bad news for Texas, which heavily depends on oil and gas industries. Four different approaches are outlined in the report, which study based on electric demand, the cheapest carbon neutral way to meet this demand, and regional economic forecasts. Surprisingly, all four approaches generated greater economic productivity than continuing on the current trajectory. The idea of a close planet having water is promising, and an area that has garnered much research. However, previous estimates of the amount of water that could be found on Mars appear to be inaccurate by several orders of magnitude for what the planet could have accommodated. According to researchers from the Odin Institute and the Jackson School of Geosciences at UT, previous models of the planet's groundwater re relied on a more straightforward coordinate mapping system. While more mathematically complex, the researchers found that using analysis based on spherical mapping produced more elegant models. The UT Tower is as iconic as the bells that reside within it. Many think the bells, or the carillon as it is officially called, is automated. Although this is true for some things like the hour chimes, this is not always the case. Let's take a look as I bring you up to floor 27 of the tower. Walking from class to class, we've all heard the bells ring to mark the time. And, if you've been lucky, you may have heard songs you recognize. But, did you know that many of the songs you hear on the tower bells are actually played by students? To find out more, I spoke with members in the Guild of Caroliners. It feels very cool, first of all, to be able to go up there and play such a public instrument, but at the same time, you're like a recluse, you're not seen by your audience. So, you know, having both of those extremes at the same time is rather tintillating. So the ways the carillon is similar to a piano is that the wooden batons are laid out just like a piano key. So on the top, you have the black keys, if you will, and on the bottom, you have the white keys. The carillon actually has all of the pitches on the bottom that are in the lower half of the carillon. These pedals actually make pitches, so it's in that way it's more similar to an organ. My favorite part about being in the guild is being able to interact with everyone. Usually whenever I play a song, it's like a song that I guess people already know. I don't really play very much like carillon specific music. It's mostly songs that people have heard before. So it's always fun whenever people like talk about hearing their favorite song on the bells. If you want to request songs to be played on the carillon, you can find them on Instagram with the tag Texas Carillon. For Texas News Primetime, I'm Josh Fowler. Affordable housing is coming to East Campus for graduate students at UT Austin. Recently, the university broke ground at 21st Street between Kamal and Leona Street. The multi-story building is set to include 784 beds in studio, one bedroom and two bedroom apartment units. The building is set to feature public courtyards, an outdoor classroom, an amphitheater, a fitness center, plenty of private and group study spaces, and a flexible multi-purpose room for graduate students and community events. The building at the moment is scheduled for completion for the fall 2024 semester. Coming up, Stephanie Molina will be bringing you up to date on the world of business. So stay tuned. We'll catch you right after this break.